it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and today I'm going to teach you how to make a barrel cake or also known as an extra tall cake. One of the struggles with this cake is making sure that it's super stable and can last a whole car ride. So stick around and I'll show you how to make it super supportive as well. I am using the perfect vanilla cupcake recipe from Glorious Treats and I took it and I multiplied it so that it would make the perfect amount of cakes for this extra tall six inch cake. I came out with about four pans of cake, which is actually one extra than you need. But if you don't use as much filling as I do, then you might need that extra pan. In my experience, this cake can feed more than 20 people. It looks deceivingly small because it is just a six inch, but because of its height, you're really actually having two six inch cakes. If you want to hear my tips on how to execute the actual cake portion of this recipe, then I will leave a link in the right hand corner where I describe it more in depth. Grease your six inch pans, put some parchment paper down and fill up those cake pans about halfway. In that video I previously suggested, I slow down this part a little bit if you want to know how to level your cakes properly and how to crumb coat your cake. Whenever I'm crumb coating my cakes, I use simple syrup, but you could also use syrup that you flavored yourself with maybe some vanilla bean or whatever you can think of. If you've had issues with support before with cakes, then you might want to start with just using buttercream in the center. When you add fillings, it does make it a little bit more difficult. It's not impossible, it's just more challenging. This board is going to go in between the two cakes, so I was just marking it to make sure I knew where those sticks were going to go through. Here I am placing way too many bubble tea straws for support, but I really, really wanted to make sure that nothing happened to this cake. So the more supports you put in, obviously the more supported your cake on top is going to be. Believe it or not, there is actually an art to doing this as well. When you place your bubble tea straw in, make sure you're putting the flat side in so that you're not supporting it on just the tip. And you also want to make sure that you leave just a smidge of that bubble tea straw sticking out so that the board actually has something to sit on and it's not sitting on your cake. Add buttercream to fill in that gap. These sticks are very supportive and they have a really good point to them. They're actually for candy apples. And what they do is they stick right into that board. So it's really important that you use a board that's nice and thick, not like the board that I'm using in between or else you have nothing to stab into. Since the sticks are stabbed into the cake board, they literally can't move around. So your cake won't move around either. Make sure the board in between really matches the size of your cake because if it's too big, then it's going to stick out and you won't be able to cover it. And if it's too small, then it won't actually be supporting your cake on top. You'll notice I'm adding a lot of buttercream on top to make sure that I cover those sticks. Today I'm using Italian meringue buttercream as if I would use anything else. You can go ahead and click that right hand corner to see how I make it. Make sure that between coats, you're always placing this in the fridge for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Coating a large cake like this in buttercream smoothly is a little bit difficult if you don't have a smoother that's tall enough, like I don't. So you just really need to improvise and make sure that you are trying your very best to use that spatula so that it smooths everything perfectly. The struggle is real with this cake today with me trying to coat this in buttercream but not have my cake show through. The way you prevent that in theory is making sure that you apply enough buttercream and then making sure that you smooth it out in an even fashion. If you need to, just make friends with your fridge and do several coats of this. There are other things going on this cake so I'm not going to be too, too picky for much longer. Mm. 
When adding sprinkles on your cake, make sure you do it when the buttercream is still tacky. I'm using a mini spatula here to kind of lift things up and put it back onto the cake. Using a multi-star tip, we're going to create a border at the top. I have hazardly tossed in some orange food coloring directly into the piping bag, and then I put in some white and some pink buttercream. The trick to this is to have even pressure and kind of do a swirling motion as you turn the cake table. Those two little black dots there are my sticks pointing out, so I really wanna make sure that I'm covering those with sprinkles. I am in love with the brightness and the simplicity of this cake. You can add whatever sprinkles you would like to make it your own. I am making this cake for a colleague and since it's quarantine time, you just know there has to be toilet paper on there. So I rolled out some fondant really thin, making sure to put some cornstarch down. I made an impression using a little tool and then I rolled up little pieces so that I could make little toilet papers. If this isn't the funniest little cake for a quarantine soiree, then I don't know what is. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!